So basically, Poor Magazine is an uh, indigenous people-led, uh, poor people-led, which was started right here by my sister and her mother when they were both living houseless here in America, as many of us have, have experienced, or do we know people that have experienced that. Uh, what we do at Poor Magazine is basically we do uh, media. Uh, we think that media is a, is a powerful tool that right now is being used against the oppressed people, especially corporate media, where you have corporate media always talking about our people but never giving the tools for, for our people to speak for themselves. And uh, so we do journalism. We also have a web page, web page where we, um, we publish um, articles. I want to let everyone here introduce themselves quickly and then we want to share a song with you that is really is really about our story which is about our food and the food we come from because we're, we're doing a dance theater piece that's about food, it's about cultural identity, it's about maintaining your traditions and just want to say thank you for this opportunity to be here um, and for providing this space for um, just a place to get together and really find communication and communication. Thank you for welcoming me here tonight. I'll uh, share later on. I look for, really look forward to, you know, Sharing all this, um, you know, like you said, all the ancestors in here. Estoy like, <laughs> yeah, Thank, Thank you. I've been a, a victim of uh, police brutality. I mm -hmm. uh, teaching a class. Um, we have a double study down in, in LA. Uh, and it was 3.30 in the morning uh, at Berkeley. Um, and I guess they had called up on me as being a homeless person who was sleeping, which is not, not a fact at all. Um, I was in there, when you know, like when you get up late to go to the bathroom, um, the wee hours of the morning. And uh, then I heard the, the knocking on the door. Um, they said, come out. Uh, or we're going to kick the door down. So someone had, had called uh, unjustly, so the police had come. And, um, I opened the door, and uh, they were they were posed to, to kick it down. And then I said, well, um, they go, well, what are you doing here? I said, I'm a guest. Uh, let, let us see some ID. So I gave them my ID. I complied with that. And... Um, they motion to each other and then were forcefully trying to uh, do something to me. And I can feel the spirit because I've been taught that in our teachings. And so I felt that it wasn't uh, a good thing, you know, they were trying to do something to me. So with no cameras and no witnesses, I ran for my health and safety down to the dorm where uh, the brothers were at. And I yelled and so they woke up. And the police still pursued me, even though they said, he's with us, he's with us, he's a guest, he's not, you know, doing anything. And they still jumped on me and, and beat me to the bone on my shins. So I have flyers here for everyone. On the tape, well, the table, thank you, you know, for magazine for having, having that for me. And I'm going to go on and definitely look out. Um, you can look, look me up on the, the internet. Uh, it's Albert. Um, Last name is spelled H A E D I N G E R, um, and you can go to the the Google, and you'll see the YouTube. So it will be up there. And underneath it'll say Techpot Brother Techpot Albert Community Support Page. So if you can go on that page and uh, you can read it, I have a petition on there. Um, you can like it. Uh, feel free to you know like it and uh, sign my petition. Um, this is. Something that, what I hate is, uh, what if it was another person, you know, it was, you know, the homeless people, uh, you know, they, they, they labeled me as homeless, and it seems like they were wanted to either beat me to death, or uh, have their way with me by maybe even killing me, and so, uh, 
This is very serious. Um, and I'm not the one to say, look at poor me and just me. And I'll look out for everyone else if uh, you know, there's a blessing that comes through this. But I really need justice. Right now, I'm looking at three strikes. They pulled up uh, two strikes from North Carolina, where I'm also innocent of those charges. So that's why they're saying brutalized twice. Um, now, even if we strike a strike, there's, I'm still looking at uh, three years uh, mandatory on the great bodily injury to a police officer, and then the battery uh, charges might run concurrent with the other charges. So at the most, if, uh, even if they strike the strike, I'll be looking at 10 years. Um, and the least would probably be five. The most would be 25 years to life. They're really telling me that I should take some type of plea and I think this is very unjust for me wanting to help, well, having helped teach a class for our people and then being brutalized. Um, okay. okay.